afternoon, YouTube YTPC. How are you all doing? I'm just in the cellar here, smoking my Benton and Hedges unfiltered pipe, which you've seen before, and we'll see it again in this video, which is more than a hundred years old. At least that was my estimate based on the silver band uh, hallmark, but more of that in a bit. And uh, in it I've got some Mellow Virginia, which the, today you buy in pouches in the UK, special Virginia, and it's the only surviving Benson and Hedges pipe tobacco, to my knowledge. There was one called, uh, I think, Virginia Flake, but um, Estevalls had some, but it's all sold out, and that's... That's it. Well, this video is uh, a little bit about Tabacchiana and collecting vintage articles which are to do with pipe smoking and tobacco, um, as well as enjoying our pipes and smoking them. The accoutrements that go around that whole hobby are fascinating to me at least you know and I've made it clear that I try to collect tappers and lighters and and anything else even ashtrays that I can find or pipe stands um, and I love uh, looking around eBay and also Etsy and Etsy sometimes has some real beautiful things um, to look at and uh, it connects basically all of the small and middle size um, antique shops of the world to us. So it's like Jeff Bezos did with books. Um, they did it with antique shops and it's a wonderful thing, you know, provided you don't mind the... Uh, you know, the odious uh, packaging, but if you think what it would cost you to visit those countries and collect those things, um, and sometimes it's, that's the value. They are worth it to you, you know. Benson and Hedges, brand new brass Zippo that probably got in a box in a corner of a store 30 years ago, I don't know what. And there's a lady on Etsy who has some of these. I will put the link below. I don't know if she's got any left now, but uh, they're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get a pipe brass insert. That will take a little while to come, but I'll manage with this. I put a shadow pad at the bottom to act as a kind of uh, moisture filter at least. And... Um, this actually smokes beautifully well after a hundred years. It's it's really a lovely um, billiard pipe, and uh, and I just love this tobacco. I've actually ordered three more pouches to pick up in April when I get to London. That's my estimate when I can go there without being, um, you know, filling out fifty forms and getting. Uh, 20 tests before I go and, and there when that's all scrubbed off and you can just go as a normal tourist I hope by April I can do it and I'll get some more of this and um, I'm trying to give some depth to my cellar before they stop making it because I figure before long they probably will stop making it um, but it's apart from the UK in the right places, you, you, you just can't get it, you know. And it's uh, basically a Burley, Virginia um, with uh, some Kentucky in it and uh, a bit of caramel topping. And Tobacco Reviews rates it, I don't know, somewhere about three or something like that. But um, 
you know, I think it's an excellent tobacco. It's um, uh, ready rubbed, so some slightly larger flaky bits in there. Um, and the, the mix, the mix is perfect. It's basically each, the Virginia and Burley are very close together, slightly Virginia forward. Um, and uh, the, the caramel topping is, you find it, it's no problem, but it won't dominate the tobacco contributions. It's, it produces plenty of um, smoke, which means there's a fair amount of burley in there. And you get those sort of contributions of nuttiness and earthiness, earthiness and uh, little nuances of chocolate to the caramel, which is perfect. And then it's a little spicy background and deep, richy background from the Kentucky, dark-fired Kentucky. And that is like genius. I mean, it's just, it's an old, old, old codger blend, but it's bloody good, I tell you. Um, but I shouldn't tell you that because uh, you'll buy it and there won't be any for me, but um, we all share everything, don't we, in, in uh, YTPC, of course. I couldn't find a Benson and Hedges tamper, so I'm using this royal one on the occasion. And you saw, this is the Tabacchiana that I got, perfect condition Benson Hedges ashtray. I put a little cork and hollowed it out a little bit that I can rest my pipe here and here. And that's perfect. So it's a kind of uh, repurpose as, as a pipe stand for this honourable pipe, which is certainly one of my favourites. I've put a little bit of a, a clip together that, and a better light, you can look at these things. Let's take a look. Hello, uh, YTPC. And uh, here we have a small collection of things from uh, Benson and Hedges. You all know I've got a special affection for Benson and Hedges because of those marvellous uh, TV ads in the late 60s and early 70s. And I made a video already um, about this pipe and uh, that will be provided in the link below. Um, but I've got a couple of additions uh, since that time. Um, I think I've already showed you this uh, uh, Mellow Virginia Flake tin, which was the best one I could find that was buyable on eBay. And uh, I found this a little bit later, this late, this um, a little bit later, this earlier tin from Benson and Hedges, special cut plug. Um, and they had their original office in Old Bond Street. And that building is still there, but uh, Benson and Hedges is not there anymore. <clears throat> so that's nice. And the pipe I talk, told you about um, in the last video, this is stamped with a, a silver band and it's got APH and APH were the initials for uh, Alfred Paget Hedges. I don't know if you can see, I have to hold, hold it, APH, you see it there. And uh, that was discussed in that earlier video. Now what's, uh, well just to say of course um, they still make uh, Benson and Hedges Mellow Virginia but they call it today Special Virginia but you can still buy it uh, in the UK and I've ordered uh, a bit more to pick up when I go to the UK in April probably. Uh, because I never want to run out of this uh, beautiful tobacco, it's absolutely uh, lovely to smoke and um, I've talked about that uh, 
in a kind of review in the old videos uh, and it for me is is absolute classic english tobacco and still good today but who knows how long they will make it for what is new here um well firstly i was surprised i also collect i also collect uh, zippos as you know and lighters and uh, just by chance, I saw this one, which is a, a brand new condition Zippo, a real Zippo, as you can see here. You can work out what year it's from. Uh, I don't know if that's 2012. I think that must be much older than that. I will look it up. But it was in the box and brand new and it's Benson and Hedges. They did a Zippo. It's got a, a fuel, of course, insert in, in brass and uh, I think I'll keep it that way. I'll replace the insides with the bacon cotton and the grommet, but I'll keep this insert unless I can get a, a brass pipe insert. I may replace it with that but I was delighted to find that on Etsy and uh, I think the lady has several of these if anyone's interested I again link below but that is surely a rarity um, and the other the other thing that came I was just waiting for this was this ashtray um, which I got from eBay on the in the UK um and it was in perfect condition absolutely perfect condition so my benson and hedges uh, set has grown a little bit and what i'll uh, i'll use this to actually exhibit this beautiful pipe and a few things from benson and hedges still looking for a benson and hedges tamper i'm not sure if such a thing ever existed but very pleased with these two additions to the collection. So it's, it's lovely, isn't it, to collect a few things, you know, you can't overload your house with, uh, well, actually, the, the master of this is Pipe Tree in the UK. He has a house which, as far as I can tell, is a museum as big as the Smithsonian Museum in uh, America and, and it should be open to the public because he's got everything and whenever you mention something for example just my coins he replied to it so I've got the exact same Cypriot coin that you showed there that crept into your Swiss coin collection He's always got these things uh, right on his desk, and so he must uh, have a thousand times more than I have. But anyway, um, I think, you know, vintage Tabacchiana is, th these are antiques, basically, and things that you collect to uh, be part of history. And some things, maybe they're not so old when we start collecting them, but when we pass them on, before a few decades, they're suddenly uh, real antiques and more than 100 years old. So um, I just love it. And uh, that's why Etsy is, uh, I know eBay and others also offer, offer those things from uh, antique shops, but um, it's quite amazing what uh, what you can find on, on Etsy. Just to update you on my hip, um, got a very good doctor. Uh, it's not the usual one I go to, but he was very helpful. Gave me another uh, cortisone jab today, but we both agree it's one connection of the muscle to the hip bone that is... Uh, uh, known sometimes to get uh, inflamed and uh, the, th the tablets he gave me and 
the, the treatment was uh, already doing a lot of good, so I'm quite a bit better. And I'm going to get some physiotherapy, which uh, I think is an important part of giving a, a permanent, or at least for the next few years, get getting rid of the problem. So I was very happy uh, to put that away. And uh, as part of my therapy, I've still got a little tinkle in my Steve Coddington hip flask. Not much, but a little bit. Cheers. Mm. Uh, as well as, of course, some iced tea. So. Well, I hope you uh, found that interesting. I've uh, added a little uh, clip at the end of this video. Do take a look. It's only a few seconds. As a tribute to Benson and Hedges and all those lovely TV ads they did, I have a playlist which is public on my playlist, Benton and Hedges, and, and I've got all of those uh, lovely YouTube uh, copies of those those wonderful ads if you want to look at them and amuse yourself. But it's part of a wonderful, chilled out, relaxed culture that um, also influenced me that I would like to smoke a pipe at some point in my life, you know. And I did start late, but um, I think it was the right time to do it. Anyway, I'll be seeing you in a few days with something completely different. So, take care everyone, look after yourselves, bye-bye. Live in peace with your pipe. With Benson and Hedges, Mellow, Virginia.